What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dead Planet. Brendan here. If you're new, nice to see you for the first time. If you're old, nice seeing you again. What's sold on eBay video here? We're talking about the week of August 15th through the 21st. Again, ho-hum for me and my goals. There's not a, a whole lot of time left in the month and it's looking pretty pathetic relative to how well I did last month. So what can I tell you? I mean, you know, just haven't been out more. It's it's sort of self-inflicted. Like my listing count is increasing because I've got last couple of days I've gone out and gotten some things accomplished, gotten listings done. But for the most part, trying to do a consecutive three months of over 15,000 doesn't look like that's going to happen now cumulatively if I have a huge month next month, September, you know, maybe I'll meet the like 90 day goal here but big dip in august we still have what four days left in the month three four days something like that so 29.52 gross sales 2063 in net uh i'm gonna pull 10 items out of the week that was we're gonna take a look at some of these things and i'm hoping that you have either never seen them before or uh if you have you learned something new and uh, it kind of recharges your battery when you're out in the thrift stores and the estate sales and the garage sales or wherever it is you're getting your stuff, liquidation, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's get into the first item here. Not waste any time. How cool is this item? So it's a Pizzell maker. Here's the interior. Very, very cool. Pizzell Chef 300, um, 800 watts. I believe the wattage matters because sometimes on these models, they're a little bit different and so you do want to disclose what the wattage is. You can clearly see two things in this image. The fact that it's 800 watts and the fact that I didn't clean this item. Maybe that's why it took so long to sell. I didn't reprice it. I priced it at 99 and I eventually ended up getting a uh, full price. So um, Dawn liquid soap and water will get, this, will get this thing clean. I'm not really sure why I didn't mess with it. I just kind of left it the way it was. And obviously the buyer on the other end isn't either going to care or uh, they'll clean it themselves. So maybe that had something to do with why it took a little bit longer to sell than I would otherwise be uh, happy with. We're talking three, four, five, six months. I don't know. I get those details kind of mixed up. But got a hundred bucks for it. 1710 in shipping. So they're 11709 all in. And I can't remember what I paid. It was either ten dollars. I feel like it was in between ten or fifteen bucks is what I paid for this. Uh tucked away in a, the electronic section of a very small goodwill. So keep your eye out for these things. I mean, super neat. And I mean, everyone's you've seen the pizzelles. Look at look at the design. Really, really cool. Very neat, very neat item. Keep your eye out for it. And of course it worked excellent. All right, next one. All right, Star Wars. So this is a Star Wars uh, Clone Wars toy from 2008. It's the ATTE. The interesting thing about this item is that it was missing tons of pieces, right? It didn't have the Stormtrooper that it normally comes with, missing legs, missing um, parts of like the cannon. The lights and the sounds worked. It was only priced $5. So the reason I picked this up and the reason I strongly suggest you do these same things is if you want to buy it brand new, this is Toy Wiz, you're going to pay 600 bucks for it. That's what the box looks like. Um, I couldn't find the listing on Amazon and uh, they're selling maybe around 250 to 300 used and new on eBay. And then rather than put the comps up on the screen, I'm just going to scroll to the next page here. The parts sell well. So whoever bought this off of me, like they're probably making the purchase of these legs right here as well, or some of whatever pieces are missing. So there's the, uh, it's called the Recon Bike Trooper, Stormtrooper, I don't know. I like Star Wars. I'm not, you know, I'm not a huge fan. So don't you know, roast me over the coals if I get, it, you know, if I get Stormtrooper and Bike Trooper or whatever mixed up. But uh, uh, the parts are readily available. Okay, so you can see them right there. 65 bucks for a full set of legs. There's the base that sold for 23. But if you look for a um, a new, there's my listing right there. So here's one that was pre-owned that looks complete, sold for 235. Complete, maybe it has some extra pieces to it. I don't, I don't know. The next one here, uh, auction style for um, for 110. So seeing that in the store, I felt like I could get 50 bucks for it. 
and uh, the buyer reached out and offered me $20. And I said that that's simply not a reasonable offer. Uh, I'm not interested in moving from 50 bucks. And within an hour later, they paid $50 for it. So good sale there. Incomplete Star Wars. Don't be afraid to look items up that are missing legs, missing arms, whatever it is, especially monster high dolls. Like they're often missing like their hands, right? Or maybe a leg. Don't sleep on those. Buy them anyway. At least do the research before you buy them anyway, because you're gonna make you're gonna make really good money on, on that brand too. But you know this item uh, as well. So keep your eye out for uh, you know the old school Star Wars toys. They do well. I sold I sold a bunch of them. Good money. Happy with the sale. Hope you find it too. Let's get on to the next one. All right. This doesn't look like much, right? Um, it's not. It's a crayon lamp. It's a vintage crayon lamp. So Ralph Co is the uh, maker of the lamp. The thing couldn't have weighed more than uh, a little over a pound. And this is the item you wanna buy from a thrift store 100% of the time. And the reason is it's gonna be priced at, I think I paid $5 for this item. Star Wars, I forgot to mention, 50 bucks and they paid 18.46 in shipping. So there's 68.45 all in and I paid five. Um, this item here, I paid 4.99 for. These will always be priced 3.99, 4.99, 5.99 because they're light, they look cheap, they're unassuming, and the pricer at the store just wants to stick a sticker on it and move on. So buy this all the time. The comps are there, and although you know thirty dollars isn't a uh, you know a massive sale here, I wanted to put this in here because these are the items you want to pick up hundred percent of the time because they're always going to be in the store. I don't anticipate you know in the era of shop goodwill, they're not going to pull this and, and put it online, although they could. But it's light and it looks cheap and, you know, why mess with it? Just put it in the store and that's where you come in. You pick it up. Uh, $29.99, they paid $10.90 in shipping. So they're $40.98 all in. Again, I only paid five bucks. Uh, I don't know what it looks like with a matching shade, but, you know, you slap another $20 on it. So $30, $50 to $60 if you, have a, if you have a matching shade. Yes, that will increase the shipping cost dimensionally because it's big uh, and you have to protect it in the box. But... This is the item. These are the items that I sell a Javelia coffee maker. I must sell like one a month. It's the one I've been using for 20 years. So I know it well. They always have a price at five bucks and you can always sell it for $40. Like that's the item you want to pick up all the time. It almost gets boring after a while, right? I mean, everybody wants to, to, to source the, uh, the $600 Nirvana t-shirt, right? But this is the bread and butter that, uh, that's going to pay your bills. So keep your eye out for Crayola crayon markers. Uh, marker lamps or crayon lamps or whatever this is. Uh, yeah, it's been another long day, so I'm starting to get loopy. But anyway, keep your eye out for it. Fun sale. We're on to the next one. Okay, so Samsung sound bars. Now, most people, I think, probably pass this up because of shipping, like because the sound bar is really, really long. But you can get a decent rate uh, through FedEx Ground. And uh, that's what I that's what I did, and, and of course knowing this because I ship a lot of large items, um, and the buyer was willing to pay the thirty bucks or whatever they paid for for shipping. Um, slap it in a box, protect it, you know, du double the boxes up, and uh, use some bubble wrap, and, and you're on your way. So for this set, I paid ten bucks. Uh, it sold for a hundred dollars, and uh, like I said, thirty thirteen is what they paid in shipping, and then eleven fifty five in tax. So they're 141, 67 all in, and uh, they pair together. So sometimes you'll see the sound bar on one section of the electronics, and another uh, time you'll see the um, you'll see the subwoofer in a in a in a, a another section. So um, keep that in mind when you're sourcing items like this. And the reason is because they kind of pair off of each other. So. Um, I knew that they paired together like I, you know, I went through the motions, made sure that they, they worked properly. The lights, like I was looking for a little blue light and they, you know, matched each other up. So I knew that they were, they recognized each other and off it went. So 10 bucks, a hundred, don't be afraid to ship larger items. I know for some of you, like maybe the, maybe this would be, uh, you'd feel like it'd be a little too heavy, but, um, you can, you can use two boxes if it, that makes it easier on you. Um, but, um, I see the soundbar and the subwoofer pairs turning up often recently in stores. So keep your eye out for it yourself because uh, you know you should never be passing up $100 on 10. All right, uh, Allen Edmonds shoes, synonymous with very, very high quality uh, in most cases. 
I do not pick up men's dress shoes hardly anymore. And there was a guy on the internet named Tino. He was like a shoe guru or something like that. I remember like thinking to myself, how does this guy, why was this guy selling all of these like, uh, all of these dress shoes and spending all this time like, you know, buffing the leather and all that. I don't know. Um, so I don't sell very many um, men's dress shoes. I just have kind of moved away from that. I sell a ton of sneakers, ton of athletic shoes, but um, Allen Edmonds, super high quality, always deserves a second look. So outside of like the saddle, two-tone, pebbled leather look that these shoes had, the two things that I liked about it were it was a wheelhouse size, so 10, 10 and a half, in my experience, for Allen Edmonds um, is, a, is, you know, one of the most popular sizes, one of the easiest to sell, and the fact that it was wide. When I was selling on Amazon FBA, I couldn't sell the wide styles of anything to save my life. On eBay, it's almost like a slam dunk. So I got excited when I saw the 10, I got excited when I saw the wide. Uh, they were in pretty good condition here. I'll show you a couple of pictures. I didn't clean these up at all. I just, you know, took them outside, took the photos, and uh, they were on their way. Soles in uh, in decent shape, and then there's uh, the style code or the sizing or whatever. So, I what did I get here? I got full price, fifty bucks, uh, twelve fifty five in shipping, so fifty seven fifty four, all in. I paid four dollars and twenty nine cents for this. Allen Edmonds uh, should not be a bolo, but always always check when you're in stores. So Lynx was the name of this uh, style shoe, and good looking shoe. I got positive feedback from the buyer, so. Uh, it's all good. Uh, again, $4.29 into 50. Like, keep your eye open. All right, so the next one, we're going to call this our Sleeper Bolo. Yes, that's right. We're going to do a Sleeper Bolo, hopefully, each time I do a What's Sold on eBay video. And this segment is L.L. Bean Leather Backpacks. So I feel like this is an under-the-radar bolo, right? Not a lot of people, like actively looking at LL Bean backpacks. Now the important thing here is you're looking for leather. So there was maybe 20% of this of this pack covered in leather. If you find LL Bean backpacks that are all leather, you are in the money. But even this one here, I still got 45 bucks for it. So $45, $11.55 in shipping, $56.54 all in. It cost me $5.99. I don't recall exactly what provoked me to start looking up L.L. Bean bags. Like if you looked at some of my, my previous What's Sold on eBay videos, I saw the really long orange like travel bag that was floral um, pattern that was L.L. Bean. They sell quality stuff, quality materials. They're, uh, uh, those bags, they're, I mean, even their, uh, you know, even their clothing, like the, the, the other items that they sell, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. It has good, like long lasting value which you can't say for other brands that are well-respected quality-wise, quality -wise, like North Face. Like, in my opinion, like, the vast majority of North Face items, they don't hold up well, even though a lot of people consider them, like, high, higher quality. I think Patagonia is better um, in the long run um, in terms of quality. L.L. Bean sort of the same in the Patagonia range. Like, they, the stuff holds up really, really well. So, L.L. Bean backpacks do not sleep on them. Super sleeper bolo. I hope you are, it's one more item that when you're in stores, you can look for. Uh, in this, uh, this instance, I didn't put the dimensions in there, but the buyer needed them. It was like 17 inches tall. I think it went 12 wide, maybe six, uh, six deep. And that was all they needed. They bought it. Um, so I must have done like a 10% off or something like that. And that's why it sold for 45. But yeah, don't don't pass up the LL Bean stuff. You're uh, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. So I was happy with that sale. In keeping with the leather theme here, uh, Mulholland Brothers is now the um, J Holland company, and I'll I'll show you the website here in a second. But Mulholland, when you when you see the tag here, so there's you either see Mulholland or Mulholland Brothers. Like this is an older tag. If you look at um, some of one of my previous, uh, both what's sold on eBay videos and haul videos, I bought this on Facebook Marketplace with a bag, with a Mulholland bag. I think that sold for like 160, 170. And then this is a, um, this is just a saddle leather garment bag. So open, you know, open and shut, very thin, but very, very high quality. The market for Mulholland Brothers leather, a little bit smaller. So this took a, a longer time to sell. But again, buy high quality, it'll sell eventually. I say that a lot. 
and and it's I kind of like want that to get ingrained in your brain, you know, because it's true. It's really really true. So full price on this one, 150 bucks. They pay 2065 in shipping and 1140 in tax. So they're 18204 all in. I paid thirty dollars. <clears throat> excuse me, thirty bucks total. Fifteen for that bag. Fifteen for this piece. So huge, huge return on uh, on that. And um, this is the uh, this is the J Holland Company now. So he is one of the uh, the original founders of Mulholland Brothers, and they've done leather for you know Hermes. You see, read it right here, Hermes, Orvis. Like he's he's a, a kind of a titan when it comes to like the the, the leather industry. So. The JHCO.com is the name of the website. You can check it out. Um, they don't use the Mulholland Brothers tag anymore. So when you find it, you know, you've got something like a little bit older um, and definitely coveted by, you know, people that are willing to spend the money on it. So keep your eye out for it. Okay, Samson. So th what does this look like? It looks like a speaker, right? It's supposed to have a microphone with it. So, you know, some people might confuse it with like a karaoke machine and you can use it in like a party kind of atmosphere, like a lot in, in that light. Um, but what this is really good for, what this item is really, really good for is like, you know, big like classroom auditoriums where like you don't want to have to scream, right? So it's just a good like, it's a, um, a, a portable Bluetooth enabled like microphone system. So teachers use them, like the people that do guided tours, they use these too. So they're lightweight, they're kind of easy to carry. Um, so I saw this price for $19.99 in the store and it looked totally brand new. It did not have the microphone, but when I looked up the comps, I could clearly see that there were, there were sales and I, I didn't necessarily need the microphone. Like that could be, um, you know, they could have it already or, um, could be easily purchased, you know, as a, as a, as a side part. Now I paid 20 bucks for the, for the speaker. I also paid 17 for the um, power cord because it didn't have the power cord either. So I took a chance that this thing may not have worked. Luckily it did. It, I mean, it looked like it was in brand new condition. It looked like it had never been touched in the store when I saw it. Uh, and I think the reason that they had it priced at 19.99 was because it was you know missing components. They definitely looked it up to know to price it at 20 bucks. Otherwise it would have had a 4.99 sticker on it. It looks just like any other like regular speaker. So, um, so the back looks like right there. The mo model is the Expedition XP106. What did I get? I got $161.99 for it, $17.98 in shipping. So they are $179.97 all in. Brand new with all of the components, you're looking at $250 to 300 bucks. So commercial buyers are, are the ones that are buying these items for sure. Uh, and again, I paid, if you do the math on what I, what I had to purchase, um, I'm $37 all in. But keep your eye out, another one of those unassuming items that you may not have seen before that has high functionality that is coveted by like, uh, you know, by commercial buyers. So keep your eye out for these items. And the next one. All right. Do me a favor. When you're in stores, if you see Food Saver, look it up. These make a ton of money. Like the fact that I got $99 for this to me is crazy. So what did I spend? It was $10 flat and I got full price for it. It's a, it's a vacuum sealer, okay? So this model is V4980. Here's some of the pictures of it. Excellent condition. Is that all I got, four? That seems kind of lazy of me, <laughs> but usually I have way more, way, way more than that. Anyway, um, tested it, yes. Worked, yes. And the um, I was the only listing for this model at the time. So this is a pretty coveted model. The uh, comps are probably up on the screen already due to um, the magic of rendering and editing video. And the buyer paid $17.25 to have it shipped. So they're $117.24 all in, 10 bucks, huge return, small price to pay. I have another food saver model. I think it's V3440 in my inventory right now that it's listed for 50 bucks that I know is gonna sell like in a matter of days. Food saver, seems cheap, right? I mean, I. You know, what do I know? I, I, we don't use one in like my everyday, uh, you know, kitchen um, escapades, but uh, but they're popular. They're really, really popular. And, you know, once something goes, you know, off uh, or it becomes discontinued, then it becomes even more coveted. So this is a good one. Keep your eye out for it. Food saver. Scan it every time. Run those comps because you're going to be pleasantly surprised. And then you can come back and thank me. Say, Brendan... I learned something from you today and you made me some money and 
that's kind of the end goal here. So yeah, let me know in the comments if I've if I've done anything for you yet at this point. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go on to the next one. All right, another another one of those things. So food saver, always look it up. Coleman lamps, always look them up. Model number two ninety five on this one. This thing was pristine on the inside. Funny thing, and I, I this happens often, is the case right here was covered was like covered in dirt. So they priced it at nine ninety nine, even though on the inside and it's a glass lantern. Um, I mean, the thing is gorgeous. It was you could tell it was hardly used. Just a beautiful lantern, and. Uh, um, they priced it cheap because they got lazy, right? It just looked dirty and they got lazy. So I wiped down the exterior and boom, I got 55 bucks for it. Coleman lanterns, no matter what condition, even ones that like have rust coming off of them, always look them up. There are some that sell for a ton of money. So this is another one of those coveted items. Um, I got 55 bucks for it, I'm happy. 27.52 they paid in shipping. They gave me a laundry list of ways to ship it. Uh, you know. I promise you, it will arrive as long as you, as long as FedEx doesn't play soccer with your package, like, I'll get it to you in good shape. I can assure you of that. Um, but anyway, I thought that was, that was cute. Um, 2752 shipping. So they're 8251 all in, like, no problem. I only paid $10. And I want you guys to go into the stores right now and see if you can find any one of a number of these items. That is why I create these videos. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, if you liked what you saw, please hit the like button, the bell notification icon, comments, like all, all of that stuff. Add it all up. Let me know how business is going. Thank you very much for watching. And um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'll do some wholesale lots here in the not so distant future. I, it's hard for me to like add one more thing to my plate right now. Um, but I have like some systems in place that may allow for that. So Maybe I'll have some wholesale lots and some stuff coming up soon. I don't really know. I'm not going to make any promises, but I just want to throw that out there for you, for you viewers who might be interested in something like that. Thank you very much. I'm jumping off the soapbox. I might go play a little Fortnite or go run in circles until I fall asleep because it's loopy central right here. Um, anyway, thanks again. I'm out here. Bye.